one thing I forgot I wanted to mention too is uh, how to get to the LFE because in here we only get to our five channels uh, full range speakers. In order to get to the LFE we need to go to LFE and then that's the slider here and we can use it like this or use it with uh, for example with latch preview so I could go to latch preview everything's ready now I want to have LFE here for example then I write it with shift P again and now I have no LFE now I have LFE Okay, looks like it's working properly. Yep. Okay, so that's the, the one thing I forgot about the resurround. Uh, what you need to know to recapulate, recapulate, we have the pucks. We use the pucks to move the, the sound source, the items in our sound field. Um, we have either one puck for mono channels or two pucks for uh, stereo channels. Uh, with the two pucks, we can connect the two. So, like here, we have two pucks. They're usually not connected. We can connect it by clicking the first, command click the second, and then we can move around. If we want to move from the center to left right we can go to reverse so one will be played reverse now we can start here we can for example go to uh, touch automation here do something like this and now let's check whether it's been written. Nothing happened. Let's see. Let's try again. Okay, should be ready now. Okay. I use this function quite often when I want to move a sound source. It can also be a mono sound source. Then I just need a, a two channel input on my resurround so I can uh, mix my mono source to either the, the center when they're both in the middle or to left and right. I use this if I want to uh, focus on a, on a scene in the center with my sound effects and then maybe we pan away and I go to, to wide, to left, right with my, uh, my FX items.